Hi students, um, this is our third reading video to go along with our distance education homework. Um, let me jump directly into the reading. If you have your packet, follow along at home. Circle words that you're not sure about. Um, if you don't have the packet, if you're not part of our distance learning, you can absolutely still listen and follow along with this reading and use your notebook to write down any new vocabulary that you hear. The title of this article is Still Undecided? Read This by Lucien Pierre. The word census comes from the Roman Republic. The Romans kept a list of all adult males who were fit for military service. Today in the U.S. we use the census to count all people. We need an official count of the population so that we have adequate resources and correct political representation. I plan to participate in the 2020 census. When I fill out the census, I will be following the law. There is a reason the census is required by law. The information is necessary for the government. If my community is not fully counted in the census, we will not get the services we need. We would not get all the funding we need for schools, healthcare, and other important services. We would not get all the representatives we need in Congress. Would you want to be the cause of your community not receiving the services it needs? Well then I recommend you learn more about the census, and I think then you too will want to be counted. The second half of the census reading, still undecided, we see two different small graphics on the left says, how much money for your state? The U.S. government gives money to the states based on their population. Let's say your state gets 2,500 per person per year from the federal government. A family of five adds funding to your states. 2,500 multiplied by five people, $12,500 multiplied by 10 years, $125,000. In the example above, if a family of five were not counted, the state would lose $125,000 over 10 years. Do the math for your family. If you do not count your family, how much will your state lose? The second graphic is titled, How many members of Congress for your state? The subtitle says, Apportionment based on the 2010 census. After each census, the total number of representatives is split among the states based on their new populations. This process is called apportionment. If your community is not counted, you might lose representation in Congress. Any new vocabulary in this reading? Make sure that you circle it, look it up in your dictionaries, um, try to figure out the word from the sentence, leave me a comment, in the leave me a question in the comment below um, and join into our online class to ask about any of this vocabulary until next time students bye